Hey everybody, Pat Petrillo back once again for Drum Talk TV. And I'm here at the 2019 NAMM show and I'm now here at the Con Selmer booth to check out the Ludwig Marching Percussion. I'm here with David Nelson, how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks for having me. Yes, fantastic. Ludwig back on the scene with great marching percussion uh, the past year or so, year or two. And David's gonna give us a little overview of the marching snares, configuration. Marching bass drums, something near and dear to my heart. So what do we got going on the snares? All right, so right here we have our uh, our marching snare drums. We have two versions here. These these are wrapped with wonderful onto slips. The shell construction is a eight ply North American maple. Um, we use a lightweight aluminum hardware to keep the weight down. We also use a five ply one and a half inch reinforcement wood maple hoop on the bottom to just give that. Uh, that bottom snare uh, bed, an awesome, awesome sound and awesome reinforcement. For a marching snare drum, it's it's really it's crisp, but it's warm as well. I think that that's because of the construction, right? A hundred percent, and that the North America North American maple really helps in the projection. Also, just if you look to the side here, this is the smoothest action on any snare I've ever used. The throw off. Fantastic. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. So Ludwig is back on the scene. Love also the uh, the design of the uh, of the badge. You know, keeps the, the modern element with the with the with the vintage element as well. This is tuned a little lower. And this is cranked up there for the contemporary marching guys. That's right. A little old school. New school. new school. Let's talk about the tenors, which I think are phenomenal because they're really rich and warm. What about the shell construction on the tenors? So we're using a six-ply uh, maple on this construction. We also have a one-inch five-ply reinforcement hoop on all of the upper drums, 10, 12, 13, 14. We come in any configuration you can imagine, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, or the, the smaller sizes, 8, 10, 12, 13. A little bit, but that, re that reinforcement hoop, just like on the drum sets, you use wood reinforcement hoop as opposed to aluminum. aluminum. Right. Why is so you never have to reset them. So an aluminum hoop sometimes can fall down in the shell. We want to make sure that the that no one has to mess with any reinforcement. So the shells have held up. We've got lots of WGI groups using them. We've got Strike and Infinity, and they've all tested these out. And that there's been. No issue with yeah, the show. And that's great. And that's so, it's, it's wood all the way through. Wood all 100%. That's why it sounds so rich and warm. Awesome. Fantastic. And uh, in terms of the carriers? So we're using all Randall May equipment. So we have both the Randall May tubular and the ABS hardware, as well as all the wonderful stands that come from Randall May. Randall May, great stuff. And bass drums, and uh, also in terms of weight, from what I understand, your bass drums are probably the lightest in the industry right now? From anyone that advertises their weights, our, our weights are the lightest that I've found from any comparisons. So anybody that picks up a, you know, 30, a 28 or a 30 inch drum, it's really a relief, you know, to have that weight constriction taken off. Yeah, so what is the, uh, the configuration? And of course, 100% maple, and they are six ply drums? These are all six-ply drums all the way from 16 down to 32. Any size, any shape that you want, Ludwig can do it. So phenomenal instruments. Let's talk a little bit about your, your, your timpani, and then we'll talk about the, the marimba and the way that's all set up. But the, uh, the timpani here, the, the, the feet design, this is incredible. Can you explain this a little bit? Yeah, so obviously I've spent my whole life as a percussionist lifting from the struts just like this and moving them around. So having a permanent picture at the bottom, but doing it with style, in a lot style, yes. right? So this move, drum can move this direction, but you'll notice that there's little wheels that are set up perpendicular to the primary wheel. And so that Yeah, these us, things, you can go side to side. That That's ingenious. Us, yeah, that allows us full mobility. So and the other thing I'll point out is just being able to... Uh, you can remove the wheels very easily. Yep, so if you have to get into a practice room, you can turn them on their side easy. You don't have to spend time trying to get Hey, the those days in off. college, I remember lifting those things, moving the timpani, trying to get them through doors and all that. No tools. No tools. Unbelievable. Off and on. Only thing about that is, you know, college kids, they can, <laughs> they can lose them, too. 
All right, let's get over there. To, I mean, this marimba, the stands that they use uh, for the outdoor marimba, this is state of the art right now. Tell us about this and, of course, the legendary Ludwig marimbas. All right, so here, we, these are all made in, in uh, Elkhart, Indiana at our Musser plant. So we have gas-assisted struts on this frame. This frame is a, an accordion, so it'll actually fit on any style, any style instrument. And we're able to really, really focus in on making sure that we have a stand that's going to stand the test of time. The other thing is that our rosewood bars right here are hand-tuned. There's no CNC machines. Every bar is treated with its own character, making sure that we're getting the right timbre to match our bar sets. So it's just a beautiful sounding instrument, and um, I'm really proud of it. Yeah, Musser, Musser sets the standard in vibes and marimba for the world to follow, and these outdoor uh, uh, carts made, again, here in the United States, just absolutely fantastic. So that is what with uh, Pond Selmer Ludwig Musser. We thank you very much. We thank you very much for coming. Dave Nelson, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Pat Petrillo here at the NAM Show 2019, Drum Talk TV. And I'll be back in a little while.